I mean, sex, drugs, and rock and roll, we got the rock and roll part down, but uh, the sex part, we're all happily married men. Uh, you know, it's very rare that you have five band members, all of whom are happy, happily married. No divorces amongst the five of us, which is unheard of in rock and roll. Uh, we have 11 children amongst us, you know, so we all have kids. So when we're on tour, it's a very family-oriented environment. You know, you know, it wasn't always like this. Obviously, when we were younger, we were younger and we were out having fun. But, you know, for many, many, many years now, we've, we've all been happily married family men. And that's, that's the kind of touring environment that we're part of now. You know, we're all in our 40s and 50s. And, uh, you know, it, it, Dream Theater's music has never been conducive to, like, a Motley Crue type of environment anyway. So, uh, you know, we're family men. As far as the, the drugs and the sex, drugs, and rock and roll, um, I myself, I'm a, I'm a recovered, recovering alcoholic, um, but I've been clean and sober for eight years. So, uh, you know, prior to 2000, you know, I was a heavy, a heavy drinker and drugger. Uh, the rest of the guys, not so much. They've always been pretty, pretty straight ahead, you know, maybe just social drinking, but uh, it was never a problem for them. For me, um, I indulged way too much. I've always been uh, an obsessive compulsive person, could never do anything in moderation. So of course that applied to my drinking and drugging. But uh, you know, I learned uh, you know, through time how to overcome that and I've been clean and sober for eight years now. And so now, you know, now on tour, there's no sex, there's no drugs, but there's plenty of rock and roll. I got sober in 2000 and the months leading up to my getting sober, um, I knew that I no longer controlled the drink and that it was completely controlling me. And I'm a control freak. So if I can't, you know, I, I, I'm freaking out if I can't control everything. And when you can't even control yourself and you're a control freak, that's pretty scary. That's when you know that the jig is up and you got to throw in the towel and that's what I did.